Okay, children. So today uh, we are going to discuss about third chapter and about third chapter polynomials. So, this is a uh, very important. So I think from this chapter I will get the to ten marks. So here in the previous classes, in the ninth class, we studied about polynomials. So as we know, so once uh, just brief introduction, what is polynomial? We know that if you take any expression, which means ax plus b or ax square plus bx plus c, like if you take this, so in this, the given expressions contains variable x and the power of the variable is always positive number. So means not negative integer. So that's why these expressions means these polynomials we can say the given expressions as polynomials. So according to the given terms we know that the names of the polynomials. So if it is if you take this one two terms it is binomial and if you take this it is trinomial but according to the according to the power of variable variable see if you take this one a x plus b here the x power is 1 so that's why it is called a linear polynomial. So here, if you take this one, ax square plus bx plus c, so here the highest power of the variable is here 2, here 1. But in this, the highest power of the variable is 2. So that's why it is called as quadratic polynomial. So if the highest power, if you take ax cube, so when the highest power is 3, it is called cubic polynomial. So generally the polynomial we can write as, just listen here, Right. So, in this, the polynomial we can write like P of X means, which means polynomial in terms of X is equal to A0 X power N plus A1 X power N minus 1 plus A2 X power N minus 2 plus A3 X power N minus 3 plus so on plus a n here a not equal to 0 so sir means a 0 not equal to 0 this condition is very important this is nth degree polynomial because and the highest power is x power is n. So that's why the given polynomial we can say that the n degree polynomial. So here a not equal to 0. In this, if you take any power of the variable is always positive, means not negative integer. So here a 0, a1. A2, A3, so on, A n are 
numbers. Square A zero is not equal to zero. So why we are not taking this equal to zero? If it is zero, then if you substitute here, zero into x power n is equal to zero. Means the first term becomes zero. So means this polynomial order means degree maybe it will change. So that's why. Means 2x 
is equal to this three transpose minus three. The next is equal to minus three by two. So here yeah, minus three by two is the zero of 